So I want you to picture this. Aapka exam day hai and you're in the exam hall. The bell rings and you start doing your paper. You get through half of the paper really easily because aapko wo bahut asaan lag raha hota hai. Aapko sab samajh mein aa raha hota hai until you look up at the clock. The clock tells you that there's only five minutes remaining. Aapke saath us waqt kya hoga? You will start panicking. You will start crying. But the problem is there is no hope then. There is no help then. and there is no sympathy there the examiner is coming in and he snatches your paper away and all there is left is a miserable being crying their heart out well i've got two things for you a good thing and a bad thing the good thing is that this actually does not happen to about 90% of students but the bad thing is that when the results do come out this is exactly what's happened to everyone simply because students don't know how to solve half of the paper just because they were not taught half of the subject matter why were they not taught half of the subject matter that's because of the shortcut method what's the shortcut method you might ask the shortcut method is title paragraph formula two three questions in class to help you understand the concept and then we're good to go for the paper the problem is everyone is teaching you this smaller set no one is teaching you this larger set that you need to understand to get the full grasp of the concept now why is no one teaching you this concept and let me tell you one more thing the difference between the bigger set and the smaller subset is only maybe two three more concepts and then you could get the complete knowledge of the topic but still you're not being taught this now why you're not being taught this is couple of reasons number one being that none of the cai endorsed books actually go over this in detail number two is that the teachers when they do start teaching in this manner the students start understanding and they then start asking critical questions that this teacher ma- might be unable to answer or it might take more time number three being that between the teaching career and the student life there is a big gap so the knowledge that the person knew at their student life was much more than they would know at their at the stage of the teaching career you even if there's a minimum four year gap the four year gap because of forgetfulness will have some difference between the knowledge known between both periods now and the problem is that your studies are being compromised If you still don't believe me then I can prove it to you. Why does everyone find physics paper 2s easy? That's because that's a spoon feeding frenzy. You get this question, then the next question, then the next question. It's like steps and it's like a walk through procedure that you can just do this question, then this is the next step, then this is the next step and that's how you're getting through the whole paper. What's the real problem? The real problem according to everyone is physics paper 1. you can solve physics paper 1 properly and you find it very very difficult because paper 2 questions of 10 8 marks are compiled into one mark questions in paper 1s or concern about that bigger set of knowledge that you actually don't know and that's why majority of the students can only score half of the marks in paper 1 if you still don't believe me and think i don't know what i'm talking about then you can check the about us section above this video if you're looking uh, at this on the website or you can visit our website and check the about us section and if you really want to know how to solve this problem go visit the videos down below if you're on the website and i'll tell you exactly how you can solve this problem